get into creating some fall outfits as a tall girl using the things in our closet. Black Friday just passed and I'm telling you I did not buy a single thing. I bought a dress but it wasn't on Black Friday. It was like in that week. <laughs> so I wanted to show you guys how I create outfits in my closet with the things that I currently have. Some of the items I purchased two years ago, some are more recent. Some are even further back than two years. So I, this is why I say I love to keep things in my wardrobe that are good quality because I can have them for years, years, years. So let's get into the first outfit and let's start with outfit number one. I am going to pop in a photo so you guys can see exactly what I am wearing. So let's get into the first outfit. Now I'm gonna pop in a photo or video so you guys can see and I'll talk through everything. So it's what I have on now which is my Frankie Shop oversized coat. This jacket is kind of like an 80s style coat in my opinion because the shoulder pads and just the way like the lapel and everything fits on the jacket. Now the shorts are from a brand called Muba. They are 100% leather, so they're really, really nice. If you can get you a pair of full leather shorts, girls, listen to me, you are going to have them for a really, really long time. You're not gonna have to buy them the next season or the season after that. Try to go for something that has a classic silhouette or even like a paper bag style because I feel like paper bag will always be in. Um, in a lot of women's closets. So I'm one of those girls. So the shorts that I have on are from Muba. They're really nice and I got these from the Outnet. If you have not shopped on the Outnet, please check them out. The Outnet has really nice items. Now people do say, oh, it's like a season behind, but if you buy things like leather shorts and jackets and stuff that have like a classic silhouette, it's a win-win in my book. So you're getting really great quality for the low, low. The top I have on is from Cos. It's one of their merino wool uh, turtlenecks. Very, very simple. I'm actually gonna come close so you guys can see it on me. It's a very light turtleneck. And it's also considered like a, a tortoiseshell color. So when you look at the website, it does say tortoiseshell. And it does give me a little bit of tortoiseshell. Absolutely love it. The stockings are from Sheer Tex. You guys say stockings are tight. They're so thick, so maybe they're considered a tight. <laughs> um, but they're from Sheer Tex. I did get a 1X in their tights. They're not super big, but they definitely fit my frame as a six foot tall woman. And the boots I got from Dear Pernil. You guys already know how I feel about these boots. Absolutely love them, but they're heavy as all heck, but they're a really nice boot. If you don't like heavy boots, this is not the boot for you, and I did get a size 41 in them. I think I told you guys I got them stretched, not so much for width, but child, they were so stiff when I got them. So he sprayed some stuff on it just to kind of loosen up the leather a bit because they're really, really thick. Still a really nice boot. And that's it, guys. And I think I have on my, my key glasses in this video. Absolutely love those glasses. You guys already know, you buy one, you get one free 90% of the times because they are always having a lovely sale. So, so check out Key if you're looking for some new glasses. I did a video on that as well. Um, but I kept it really chill and my earrings are these, Valerie. So the outfit, this is something that I will wear in the fall as a tall girl. When it comes to buying shorts, I like to buy shorts that are not booty crack. <laughs> length okay I know a lot of you girls have a hard time finding shorts but I'll be a hundred percent honest with you I'm not really like I don't shop by rise I just look at the shorts online I look at the zipper placement I look at certain things I look at how it looks on the model and I kind of go from there that has helped me shopping over the years as a tall woman especially not really having tall girl brands like ever like this is just new for me to have tall girl brands but since I'm really used to shopping at regular brands I just make them work for me so that is outfit one that I'm gonna be wearing this fall let me know if you would rock shorts in the fall and in the winter and if not tell me why not and if so tell me why you would they're very versatile you can definitely wear them with knee-high boots or any chunky boots or even ankle boots like and just play around with the silhouettes longer top 
um, maybe a fitted top with the longer jacket, how I have it on. Just play around with it, especially as a tall woman. We really have to get creative when it comes to looking stylish because guys, these folks do not cater to us and it is really, really whack, seriously. So let me get into outfit number two. I hope you guys like the first outfit. So outfit number two, here we go. All right guys, so let's get into outfit number two. I have on my infamous red stowed boots. Absolutely love them. They do still have these boots. I will link them for you guys. If you have a wide foot like me, you're gonna have to size up, okay? I do keep a shoe stretcher in my home. I've showed you guys them before. It's just something that I like to have in case the instep is just a bit too snug. I have a really high instep, so a lot of shoes that have zippers, it'll cause me like an issue. So these were actually fine. I don't recall stretching these at all, like in that area. So they're fine. But if you do have a wider foot, definitely size up. Let's get into the outfit. So I have on a Zara full leather skirt. When I tell you guys buying full leather stuff that's good quality, I mean that even though it's a full leather and it's like not the best quality, I guess, <laughs> you can still find a brand or a company that makes something with a good blend. I had this particular maxi midi, midi skirt for over three years now. It has not peeled or anything on me. I absolutely love it. It kind of reminds me of the material of my ALC faux leather pants. It's not the normal faux leather, but it's something about it that it's very stretchy and it seems to be really good and holding up for me. So then I have on my Iro jacket. This jacket I got from the Outnet. You guys already know the Outnet has a ton of designer clothes. They say that it's last season, but for me, I feel like, I don't know. I'm, I'm cool with it <laughs> as long as it fits my frame um, I have on my Fendi big square frames and my YSL clutch the clutch I'm gonna show you guys closer the clutch is before they started putting on the hardware so it's really really old and I told the story about this bag I saw someone have it because I did not want something with hardware and I so happened to look online it popped up on YouTube it was discontinued but I went to Sawgrass Mills guys and Sawgrass Mills as soon as I went in they had this color they had a, the tan color I got it's like a taupe um, they had a beautiful like cobalt blue and they had like a gold one so I got two but they were like really affordable but so this is the outfit so this is something that I would be wearing this fall as a tall woman now this skirt I'm gonna wear this a ton of ways solely because it's a fall of the skirt it's a good length for my height and i can wear it with booties i can wear it with sneakers i can definitely wear it with um knee boots i wouldn't do thigh high would defeat the purpose um but if it had like a really high split i definitely would so let me know what you guys think about outfit number two would you wear something like this is it your style leather is always going to be in my closet ladies <laughs> it's just something about leather pieces that I absolutely love it just brings a bit of chicness to my wardrobe and then you can definitely mix it up with a ton of things you can dress it up and you can definitely dress it down all right guys so let's get into the third outfit this is more of a my just creating something unique so I was watching Grease this weekend and I kind of was like oh my god I really missed the little poodle skirts and the little shoes that they have now I don't have those shoes but this is my attempt to create something similar to that and this is something that I would wear in the fall it's still cool as far as like still on trend for me because the skirt is an a-line skirt and it's patent leather and the boots are just a pair of red booties from Kenneth Cole. If you are a girl who has really large feet, don't sleep on some of the other brands. Kenneth Cole, these are a size 11, and they're like a regular 11, not the new 11 where it's like really small, <laughs> the old school size 11. The jack, the sweater is from Ami. If you do have long arms, girls, it does have room for you to bring down the sleeve. But I have it at the original cuff, and it's still very long but you guys can see in the video how I styled it up just a pair of black tights kept the same tights on for now and I have on my Eliza Johnson glasses but let me know what you guys think did I nail it when it comes to the grease outfit or did I not but I think it's a really cool outfit it's simple um, I don't see many girls wearing things like this anymore back in the day I did but 
just something fun for the fall that I would wear as a tall girl. All right guys, so this is the last outfit that I'm gonna be wearing this fall. This is more of a chill outfit. Nothing, is. I still have on heels, but I've, I've paired it with something a little bit more dressed down, which is this Zara, kind of like sheepskin vest. It came out last year, but they actually brought it back this year. Absolutely love it. I got a size medium because it was a really large jacket and I'm not the biggest girl. Tall, but not large in my arms and stuff like that. But denim skirt from Mango. Those are my Charles David boots. Suede at the top, guys. Really, really nice boots. Size 11. They do go up to a size 12 sometimes, so definitely check them out. And my Eliza Johnson glasses. These are the gold frame ones. Absolutely love these and a Zara knit sweater. So that is it for this video, guys. I just wanted to show you guys some outfits that I'll be wearing this fall as a tall girl. Every single piece that I wore in this video is not from a tall girl brand. So again, making regular brands work for me. If you stay to the end of this video, please comment Coco We See You. And guys, don't forget to follow me on Instagram at CocoStylesNYC and CocoStylesNY and my personal style blog, CocoStylesNYC and my style services cocostylesny.com and i'm on tickety tickety talk cocostylesnyc and i will catch you guys in the next one bye guys